Hey loves, it's your girl Dee Dee and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So I am back with another reaction video for you guys. Before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you like the content. Also share and like the video and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. So I am back with a reaction to Tia Maori. Yes, Tia Maori is still in the news because of her new show that she has going on talking about her relationships and her divorce from her husband, Corey Hardrick, ex-husband, and also how she's still out here trying to navigate her celebration and her divorce. And so I just wanted to come back and chime in on the fact that a lot of her fans have turned against her. A lot of the women who were motivating her and praising her and championing her for divorcing her husband and, and, and finding herself and, and all of that, now it seems to be taking a different turn. And I wanna share with you a few clips of some women who have changed their mind about Tia and is, is in the direction of taking Corey's side. So I wanna jump into the video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts on this one. We are gonna jump right into it. Here we go. Let me tell you something. Watching the Tia Mari show I would never date Tia Mari. I would never go into a relationship with Tia Mari. Not only is she a red flag, she's inexperienced as f she's immature in certain ways. We be on her side and we don't even be thinking about what Corey went through. After this, watching this show, I feel bad for Corey. She's overwhelming. So I've been watching Tia Mori's new show, right? <laughs> And I love Tia and Tamara. I love them. I love them on Sister Sister. I just love them. I love them. You know, I grew up with them. <sighs> but Tia's new show, and this is in no way, shape, or form to bash her, or this is just my opinion. I still have so much love and respect for her and everything that she's going through. But I don't know why the show feels, is the word inauthentic? The show feels so inauthentic to me. I don't know. I feel like she's just trying way too hard. Listen, I agree with her. I don't think that she's the only one that feels that way. I think that the show seems forced. Tia herself seems forced in everything that she does. And it, it does seem inauthentic. I think that Tia is looking for validation. In my opinion, just my opinion, she's looking for validation. She's looking for people to tell her that she's doing the right thing. Even though she doesn't feel it within herself. That's why every time she she's talking about it, she's crying. She's emotional. Because I think deep down inside she knows that this is not the best choice but she doesn't really want to admit it and but she's looking for other people to validate her choices to make her feel good about it but I personally don't think that she feels that great about it she knows what she's doing but it's a selfish reason behind it and I think she's well aware of it this is why she's always emotional when she talks about it because deep down she knows that she made a mistake but she's trying to live with it and trying to proceed with it but it's still bothering her so that's why I think even she knows that this is cringy the fact that she's created a whole show to talk about it and to get validation and try to make herself feel good about her decisions but let's continue I don't know it's just me I don't know what it is the show is just not clicking for me at all like I've watched other people's shows and I'm like oh yeah I can't wait for the next episode next episode and I've been watching the show but it's just not like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Am I the only one that feels that way? That this show is just like, I don't like, it's not necessary. I don't know. And oh my gosh, her laughter. When she laughs and she cackles. 
that drives me crazy. <laughs> Listen, she does have a, a, a crazy laugh. I think it's, it's kind of comical. It is what it is. That's just the way she laughs. The thing about her show and the thing about Tia is people see through it. They see through it. For the most part, I think what gravitates people towards you, especially women, is when you have that family dynamic. When she was married with her husband and her kids, women gravitate to that sort of thing. Women gravitate to the family. It's, it's a natural innate thing that's within us. But when you separate that, when you walk away from it, even though women speak about this empowerment movement and being able to do whatever you want to do and, and be an independent woman, deep down inside, a lot of these women crave the family life. They want stability. They want a stable household with a husband and family. So we gravitate to the family life. And that's what I think was happening when she was married. And, and you talk about your family. Those shows tend to do better amongst women and others. And so that is the disconnect that is happening a lot of women realize she's not that interesting by herself it's not that interesting when it's just her with her girlfriends and, and she's a single mother because they already see a whole lot of that and we have a bunch of single mothers so it's nothing new but to see a family actually working out that is inspiration to a lot of women because that's not something they see on a daily and to see it working is what keep women interested the minute you break that up it becomes less interesting and, and a lot of women turn away and they start to see the flaw in, in it all so that that's why it's not clicking for a lot of women but let's continue it really really does because i'm like it's really not that serious it's not that funny but she like lets out this screeching loud cackling laugh at every single thing and it's just like girl it just feels like she's trying too hard. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if this show was the best thing for her. I don't know. Um, also, am I the only one that thought that that comment she made about her cousin was weird AF? Um, when I don't know if anybody mentioned it. I think somebody did mention it on App Ready, like because she said that how Jerome which is her cousin is like her anchor, like her best friend, you know, and stuff like that. And then she's like, yeah, girl, Jerome seen me naked. He's a man and he's your cousin. What you mean he's seen you naked? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I was just, you know, thinking too much into it. Is that normal? Like, nah, that's not normal. <laughs> and I thought it was weird also. I thought it was a weird thing for her to mention it. What That could have been omitted. Nobody needed to hear that. How was that relevant? You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of weird for her to mention that her cousin saw her cousin saw her naked. That's the cringiness of Tia. And the, and that woman who, in the beginning who said that she's uh, inexperienced, it, it, it shows, you know, she is out here trying to find herself and live her best life. And I think she's having a hard time doing that, but let's continue. Y'all male cousins seen y'all um, naked before? I don't know. How we feeling about Tia Maury's new show, y'all? How we feeling? I'm one of Tia Mari's biggest advocates, but after watching her show, I thought to myself, maybe I shouldn't judge a couple quickly like that, like I did. I immediately thought Corey was that. I immediately thought he was the problem. Immediately. I knew, I was like, yeah, it gotta be him. Cause you see how he was in that interview? After watching the show, I was like, oh my God, she may be just a little overwhelming, right? Like maybe he just gotta, you know, take a stand for herself. Cause child, yeah, I mean, I have no words, I have no more words. So you all were right about the Tia and Tamara situation, at least a lot of you. It's according to Iris and a lot of you either supported my Tia and Tamara take or were really big mad. Sorry, not sorry, it's how I felt. Um, but you're right. She is now backtracking that statement, basically saying that, no, she was insinuating that I feel when we grow up, we start our own families and our children, and we begin to take on new roles and responsibilities in our lives. And that's what it was about. And in these transitions, sometimes you just want to hug and be, have someone accessible. But that's not what you said. What you said was, it's times like this, I want to pick up the phone and call my sister. So you all were right. This was 
a grab for attention. Yeah, it was definitely a grab for attention. She wants to feel like her choices are validated and are warranted. And that's just what it is. And you know, of course, once again, people are like, oh, that's her business. Yeah, it is her business. But she chose to put her business on Front Street. So people have a right to respond to what she puts out there. And, you know, and the fact that Corey hasn't really said anything about her. He's living his best life, presenting himself as a working family man. And he is not really saying anything negative about her whatsoever. And the fact that she keeps putting all of her personal business out here and have made a show of her divorce is crazy to me. It's crazy to me that she's using her divorce as a way to capitalize off of it and also look for validation while putting her, her, her personal business out there. And I think that's something that will come to bite you in the butt because you have kids. How are your kids gonna look at you after the dust have settled? How are your kids gonna look at you knowing that you put her, your the divorce on display and not really focus on how this is going to negatively impact them? So I think once again, it's a selfish move. I think a lot of the moves that Tia has made that she's shown us have been very selfish, including the relationship between her and her sister. In one of their episodes when they had you know their show together, her sister called her selfish. So that's, that shows a lot of how Tia moves and that she's a very selfish person, allegedly. Based on what we see, we see it. So now she's out here trying to figure out how to love again. She still wants to be in a relationship. She still wants to have love and all of these things. But unfortunately, it wasn't something that she could work out in her own marriage. So now she's out, you know, looking for it again, which is, is, is crazy to me. But hey, I guess she got to continue to live her life, right? And so I don't know how that's going to play out. But I mean, you've already had a graduation and a celebration. And, you know, like it was a great thing. What man watching all of this is going to feel comfortable getting into another, uh, getting into a relationship with you? And who knows if it gets serious, he doesn't know if you're going to walk out the way you did with Corey. So I don't know how that's going to turn out, but I guess we shall see. Let's continue. I will admit when I am wrong, but I still don't buy it because the idea of not being able to call your sister if something major has happened in your life would tell me that something's wrong because I don't know about you, but my twin or any of my sisters or even my friends, if they're in a time of need, I am absolutely only a phone call away. So what do you all think about her new statement? Do you believe that this was for the show? Do you believe that it was, I personally thought it was none of our business and I didn't understand it being mentioned, but y'all are right. Hey, we're talking about her. It's the video is doing numbers. So if we're talking about it, of course, other people. So that probably cause people to tune in. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, I, I'm a fan of tears, but I'm about to hit y'all with something that y'all don't want to hear. And I don't give a shit. Tia don't need a show. She need a therapist. I, I said it. I said it. Every other mother word she crying. And is this unfiltered? Is this real? What? You holding back on stuff that we want to know. Why you don't talk to your sister? I saw you trying to say because y'all live in two different, uh, y'all live in two different spaces. She's married. She, listen, my sister just turned 40. My other little sister, 26. We all live 40 minutes from each other. We be on the phone all motherfucking day. Something happened tragic in my motherfucking life. I'm calling my sister. That's what we got FaceTime. Tia, you got an iPhone. I saw it. Seen it with my eyes. Every time, every other word this lady say, she crying. She want a man back. She want a man back. She keep worrying about what the image is, what her did. She's still protecting her image too. I thought you want us to watch this show because you sitting up here telling us the truth about what's going on. Her son don't want to be recorded. Okay, teacher's on here, kid. She crying when she leave. They been divorced for a year. What are you still crying about? And I get it. I ain't never been married. And I didn't cry many a nights about my, I didn't cry. I didn't cry more than Mary J. Blige, more than her. I get it. But Tia, come on. She got to get back, come on. She, they should have put camera crew in her house. They should have put emergency help crew in her house. All she do is cause she want her fucking man back. And I'm blaming father of the motherfucker. <laughs> and listen, I think she was funny. It was hilarious, but it's probably the truth. She don't know what to do. And when the more she's out here in these streets, the more she's reflecting on what she had. And the more she probably realized that she may not be able to get that back. Maybe Corey wasn't so bad. Cause she, out here in these streets, it's gonna be struggle love, struggle bus, 
because she gonna realize that she may not find exactly what she already had and that may not be what she want as well so what else is she to do you know so that, that's why I say she realizes something you know so it's something she realized so that's why she crying all the time and yes divorces are hard this is why i don't understand why it's pl she's plastering it all well she went on this divorce tour that's why i don't understand why a person would do that when you know that this is difficult probably for you and your husband and your kids why wouldn't you try to protect them as much as possible and not do that but once again, it's a selfish act and she's doing this for her. She's not worried about the kids. Corey ain't nobody else, clearly. That's just my opinion on that. But Corey is living his best life. And I'm gonna show you a little clip as to why he's living his best life. He don't seem to be worrying himself about what Tia is doing. He's doing what he needs to do for him and his family. Let's continue. You wanna know what kind of father I am? Ask my kids, they right there. You, I mean, you know, the kids tell you the truth all, all day, so. I'm a, I'm a daddy when people are watching and when they're not watching. Those are the loves of my life. Come on, I know, Creep. My, my son's shy, though. That's my little baby Cairo, my son. And um, like I say, my walk every day in life is to represent my children and how I conduct myself and what I say, because I always think about their future. You know, I don't live in the moment because, you know, my kids, they're just everything to me, if y'all know what that means. So I always think long term of what's going to benefit them, what's gonna help them, what's going to protect them. So that's why, you know, I am what I am and I do it all for my children. I love them, you know, um, that's it. But um, yeah, I'm proud to be a father. I'm proud to be a black father. I'm proud that they can look up to me. I'm proud that they can say, you know, daddy got our back for life, so. Listen, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments of this particular video. Tia is still out here on her graduation and her celebration while she's still trying to find love. And Corey is living his best life, presenting himself as the family man that he is. And he's continuing to do what he needs to do for his life and his family. He's thriving and people are saying how, you know, he looking good out here in his single life that he won't be single for too long because women are looking at this and everybody's saying how fine Corey is now that he's single and you know I think Corey will do just fine and I think Tia in my opinion is going to struggle because she's out here looking for something that she probably already had so I want you guys to chime in in the comments let me know your thoughts on this one uh comment like subscribe hit that bell y'all know what it is let me know your thoughts on this and I will catch you in the next one bye